It's another lovely week again. I'm back. My name is Zachary Yusuf, your usual host on the program, Mobilizing for Development, M4D. And uh, today, I am in the studio once again with our special guest. Well, guess what? The most important thing is to let you know that M4D has been intervening in sanitation-related issues. We've been building latrines in some part of Jigawa State, and this time around, we are looking at community-led total sanitation, and that is taking place right now in one of our focal local government area in Kono State, and to be precise, the Akintofa local government area. M4D is aimed to enhance local government or local governance and contribute to improve service delivery in selected local government areas of Kano, Kaduna, and Jigawa State. M4D is funded by the UK Department for International Development and managed by the Palladium Group. Once again, I'm Zachary Yusuf. I want to welcome my guests in the studio to discuss community-led total sanitation is HOD Works, the Wakintofa local government area of Kano State. And as uh, Malam Umar Wudilawa, you're welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. I'm also very glad to inform you that I have the primary, primary health care coordinator in the studio of the same local government, the Wakintofa. And I'd talk about Yahya Lawan. You're welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. It's a privilege because all this work that the MPOD have been doing wouldn't have been probably been very successful without the intermediary people that have been going up and down between M4D and the community. That's a community-based organization. This time around, again, from Tumfafi, that are still in the same local government area, is Saidu Abdu Tumfafi, who is the chairman of Tumfafi People's Forum. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Talk about sanitation, and we're talking about total sanitation, but this time around, community-led, HOD. What is the idea of community-led total sanitation? Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The idea of total-led community sanitation, Dwa Kintofa, was brought about by the CBOs that are working with the MPOD in Dwa Kintofa local government. Uh, they see to it that uh, in, the, in their areas, people were uh, do uh, dumping rupees improperly in the gutters, and they brought blood and some diseases. Yeah. So they brought this as a demand, as, as, uh, as and demand to the the Akintofa local government. Since the Akintofa local government is working with the M4D as an organization that is ready to assist and help facilitate the development of LGS, so we, we our local government approached the M4D with, the, with regard to this issue. Then we sat down with the M4D, we formed a committee, about three committees. Uh, there is one committee for selection site, which I, I was the chairman there, there is committee to purchase some materials that will, will make the, the, that sanitation proper. Yeah. There is committee for mobilization. So that the idea come from the CBOs as a demand to the PMs in the Akintofa local government. All right. Join hand with the M4D organization. All right. Uh, Malaya, yeah. yes. Now let's, how did this, the whole thing, how did it come about? Well, uh, when this issue brought to the LGA as an issue of poor hygiene or poor sanitation, environmental sanitation in Dawakin Tofa, we look at that we have a program before which was set aside at uh, Doano Market. That one is brought by the official of Doano Market for environmental sanitation. We made, uh, the, the, the committee was made in that issue. And uh, with regard with that, with that, we said that we should reform that committee and extend it to cut across all the LGA, especially in that two main towns that are attack or, or they are now becoming uh, uh, semi-urban. That is Dawano and uh, Tumpafi. So with that, we, we, we sat down with the M4D and the LGS stakeholders. Two committees were, were, were set. The first committee, as HOD work said, was the committee to assign to go and cite the places that we shall dump or we shall collect that uh, refuse. 
you know the issue of refuse or waste. There are two types of waste. That is solid and liquid waste. And uh, the most uh, type that is affecting our people is that solid waste. Because uh, due to uh, dumping of refuse disposal uh, improver, they used to block the water waste where that is liquid waste is draining off. So as a result of that, as what uh, HOD work said, a lot of issues are coming, flooding, uh, disease outbreaks, and what have you, and even rodent infestation, uh, flies infestation, that is my, uh, especially mosquito, which cause malaria. All these issues were brought due to that. So we sat and think, what is the is going to be done, especially to, 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 to clear off that problems. Okay. So uh, as a result of that, we said that first, uh, solid waste is to be controlled to avoid that uh, problems. So uh, these two committees, one for, 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 for citing the places was said, which was held by HOD uh, Works, and the other one committee, which was headed by me as his uh, PSC coordinator, was uh, the, the, the committee for social mobilization. And I could remember during that meetings, one of the girls' platforms said that they are going to participate in that mobilization. So we conduct that mobilization, house to house uh, mobilization, with the head of CBOs going around mobilizing people to sanitize their areas and uh, and mobilize them that that's intention of construction uh, uh, collection site so whenever that uh, collection site was constructed let them take that refuse to there so that's how it started thank you very much uh, primary health care coordinator uh, but then let's look at the cdo uh, actually in the forefront it was your idea was there too much of refuse everywhere that actually you know brought the feeling that sanitation is a great issue in dark uh, really <coughs> at that particular time we actually uh, went around uh, you know th there was a kind of high rate of uh, morbidity and death even uh, in, 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 in that local government area due to maybe typhoid and uh, malaria and uh, cholera. So we sat down at CBOs and thought deeply and then we decided to go and then appraise, observe and then analyze the, 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 the data mm. to see the causes of all that uh, you know, uh, thing. So we found out that uh, it was that kind of behavior that is sanitation, uh, you know, poor sanitation poor behavior, sanitation. actually. So that was the reason all these things happened. So when we took the idea to the local government, they, uh, you know, uh, forwarded it to M4D, and they, all of them, uh, even including the TVs, we mm -hmm. sat down and discussed how we uh, can, you know, we could actually bring about solutions to all these problems. All right. So H that is it. HRD works now. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at the community-led uh, total sanitation itself. And um, how has this sanitation helped to build a healthy community? Uh, <coughs> it has helped to build a healthy community because now our community is safe and hygienic. This uh, unwanted behavior of dumping refuse in, the, in our gutters has been stopped now. Because um, as, we, as I, I was said before, about 16 points were selected to take that refuse as a, a fixed point that will be collecting the solid waste. Yeah. So we are able now to demarcate about six. Out of that six now, MPOD built the bunker there. Then the people who are taking that uh, refuse there. In those six in, sites? In, in those six sites. MPOD yeah, built, built six, six sites, yes. Yeah. And uh, we low government provide the site. Okay. Then the, the MPOD built the bunkers. Now the refuse have been taken to that uh, bunkers. All right. What has been the process for affecting behavioral change? Yes, let's look at um, Malinga here, giving us the answer here. Mm -hmm. Behavioral change, what has been the process for healthy community in terms of, uh, you know, community-led total sanitation that we are talking about? 
uh, really, of course, it brings about behavioral changes because initially people are in the habit of the hygienic uh, uh, refuse disposal. And nowadays, when they take that uh, refuse to the collection site, they save themselves and even the aesthetic look of the, uh, of the environment mm. is you, you should, and there's no, uh, uh, um, so I'm polishing. That is uh, solid polishing. I, I, what I mean, polishing will not be occurred. And there is no uh, littering of, wood, uh, of refuse to the drinking water. And there is no uh, outbreak of diseases. Therefore, there is a change as a result of that. Yes, about this change in behavior. You know, uh, in our rural areas, <coughs> household used to dump their waste inside their houses. Some, they used to take it to, uh, from, uh, from their wall back to their, uh, from the inside the house back to their, uh, outside the house to their, their backyard. So they would dump it there and uh, collecting it for their, as a manual. Okay. But they don't know that one is very dangerous. It will create a mosquito, it will create, it will create this uh, diarrhea and the other thing. Yeah. But with this kind of this uh, mobilization, and the and construction of this bunker now. And the people understand that this one is not proper. Even if the, the refuse is down to that bunkers, mm. they will they are allowed to go and separate the manure from that uh, small rubber and the other metals. Mm. Then they will take the manure to their farm. They are allowed to do that one and they have agreed. Now the people stop dumping that uh, refuse behind their houses or inside the gutter in front of their houses to be uh, to keep as a manure when the raining fall come they will evacuate it now they stop doing that one so there is change of behavior totally chairman Topapi. now again clts encourages investment in mobilization for healthy communities instead of investing in waste disposal equipment has this shift been successful it has been successful actually because uh, as the, uh, the uh, uh, HOD and the uh, PHCC said, uh, there has been a kind of paradigm shift, let me call it. So people actually uh, change their sanitation behavior. Okay. So uh, as a result of that, uh, the, the environment now is becoming clean yeah. and people are becoming healthier than before. Uh -huh. So that is why we can say this, there has been a kind of uh, uh, success in that kind of thing. So that shift is actually affecting mm. the whole rural communities in, in, in the local government area. People have started think, uh, changing their behavior mm. in terms of, uh, you know, uh, refuse disposal. And then, uh, you know, this will help a long way uh, in improving their, their health. PHCC, now yes. let's look at it from the health angle. Has this shift? been successful? Yes, exactly. Uh, the shift has been successful, as I said. The outbreak or the rate of uh, communicable disease has reduced. And uh, as I have said earlier, the environment look clean, look better. Even when you pass in, in the environment and uh, the, 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 the peeling or the the smelling, mm -hmm. that bad smelling that is causing by it, has been reduced. Okay. And there is no rodent infestation, and the mosquito has reduced. Therefore, the rate of malaria cases has been reduced yeah. also, yes. Uh, HOD works now. Again, there's nothing that do not have challenges, yeah. difficult, when implementing them. Let's look at the challenges faced while this shift is taking place. Uh, you know the challenges that uh, uh, when we start uh, locating that site, is, uh, we, we get the proper site, but that site uh, is a land belong to individual. Okay. Some people they are thinking that uh, we, are mo we are going to make something for our own good, so they refuse to give the site to us. That's the first challenge we face. So we have we scouted a local government land, which is a little bit far from what we already designated as a fixed point for this uh, refuse co collection point. Mm. Uh, that's why this is the first uh, 
challenges. The second challenge is financing. Uh, we, to get the money to build that bunker, local government now they don't have uh, enough resources to do that one. Yeah. So we, are, we face the MPOD and they, they have agreed and uh, make that uh, bunkers about six of it now. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of money. So the, uh, that's the first challenge we face. The, the third challenge is that mobilization of that refuse for houses. Uh, that the, the another uh, yeah, sad sure. challenge is now. So in that place, I will come. I will go back to the shift of changing behavior. That changing behavior now it, it has been changed economically to their communities. Okay. People were realized because in 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 the cities now, like in Kano, uh, small use they know the value of this solid waste. They are getting money out of it, but in rural areas they don't know. So from this initiative, from MPOD and this civil, uh, civil organization and the PM in the Akin Tofa, people are now economically a little bit better. I okay. uh, use that uh, city redundant now. They start realize the using that uh, solar waste as a, as a sort of revenue. Yeah. So they are getting money now. Okay. So the behavior is shifted economically. Were they being paid to carry refuse or they are picking some items from the refuse? Yes, they are picking some items from refuse. Okay. Okay, again, Tumpafi Chairman, uh, I'm sure uh, you are in the forefront of this. Yes. Uh, let's look at some of the challenges, anyway, in trying to bring the people to uh, to buy into this um, community-led total <coughs> sanitation. Sure, there have been some, uh, you know, kind of challenges, actually. You know, there are, uh, we faced at least different, uh, three different major challenges, actually. Mm -hmm. There is this physical... Uh, you know, uh, factors when we look at these things. People, you know, sometimes people, when they, 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 they look at this thing, they just look at it as maybe uh, this kind of uh, idea or initiative mm. will actually uh, 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 bring about uh, some kind of uh, uh, problem to mm. them. That is it. Because th there are some places where if you want to uh, uh, construct drainages or something like that, it will not actually take that, uh, uh, because the soil cannot take that kind of this. So that place should be very strong, the bunkers mm. should be very strong. So in some places where these bunkers are not actually built, they face some kind of uh, problems, this flooding or whatever, mm. erosion. so that erosion, and that's it. So then, then there is this kind of uh, uh, process factors. Let me say process factors, is, uh, what I mean is that People, uh, this kind of distance should actually, if this thing is to continue, is yeah. to actually be sustained. Yeah, there, there should be some kind of follow-ups. Yeah. Yeah. There should be some some kind of so that's it. And people, you know, they they have their own traditional ethnic beliefs, mm. and this thing actually actually uh, uh, brought some kind of challenge to this kind of mobilization, because some people believe that they to to even build. I mean, uh, this kind of, uh, 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 to take this kind of uh, refuse to somewhere else, it's not, it's not proper it's for not them. Proper. For example, there are some areas whereby if somebody uh, constructs a toilet in his house, it is a taboo. So all these kind of ethnic and whatever, uh, you know, beliefs yes. uh, actually uh, bring so about... people's problems. belief is also uh, a it's hindrance. A, it's a hindrance. Right. It's an obstacle, yeah, actually. Yeah, obstacle yes. to making things so that is uh, it. You know, successful. That is yeah, it. PHCC. Yes. Again, we will look at a very successful project is ongoing in Dawakin Tofa. Yes. And we want to probably scale it up to other local government area. And even, I'm sure, uh, because uh, HOD works talk about six bunkers being built by... M4D. Is it enough? Um, really Is it enough <coughs> the entire lo local government? No, really it's not it's enough. Not enough. So how do we scale I, it up? Even to in other this and to all other local governments. Even in this uh, the places that we have mentioned yeah. earlier, it's not enough. Even in the uh, in the Wano, uh, Tumpafi and uh, the Wakin Tufa town, it's not enough. Okay. And you know we have thirty eight village hands in the Wakin Tufa. So the, is, the reason is that if you want to start anything that is tangible, you have to consider what you have at hand. So we started this to show people the importance of this uh, uh, refuse collection site. So when people, collect, when people see that importance and uh, accept this, so uh, I think 
even the people on their own, they may be uh, uh, constructing that kind of site in their own areas. Mm. You know, there are places that they have uh, like uh, extended family houses. So considering the importance of that refuse to them in the local areas, yeah. you know refuse is very important, it's, uh, it's, it's money. Yeah. They are taking that refuse to farms. Okay. So uh, for them to take that refuse to the, to the bankers, some of them, they may use it. They may construct their own uh, the refuse disposal site at their own areas so that they should be collecting it here, there, and take it to farm. Right. So for the other LGS, uh, when, this, uh, when they saw this impact, they may copy from the, our LGS. Okay. Actually, I think works. so. Mm -hmm. Other LGS probably might want to seek your advice on how to get this um, community-led sanitation in their areas. How would you advise them? <coughs> yes, I will, I, will, I will advise them, first of all, they should uh, make a study uh, of, of, of what we have, how we plan our own. Mm. They should come to us and uh, seek our advice. How did you do this job? Then they make an, uh, a committee, including PWD, use mobilization and the VMs within that uh, local government. Mm. They should come to us. They will face us, they will ask us for the, how we do our own, then we advise them properly, then we give, our, we give them our input, mm. how they will do it. We have been doing this thing, not even in this uh, community-led this thing. Yeah. You know, MPD is, although I want to enter something differently, please. May I enter that? We okay, have, uh, okay. Very limited. Okay. So we, we, the, many local government now, they are coming to us yeah. in all the field of MPD, yeah. copying from us. Okay. Yes. Raj, we want to thank you for giving us your time once again, quality time it is, and um, we've been discussing with uh, this gentleman on issues that are centered on sanitation. And I told you from the beginning that M4D has been building latrines so that people will not defecate openly in Jigawa State. Now, dumping of refuse is another area M4D's intervention is going places. And I want to thank my special guest, we have HOD Works, the Akintofa Local Government Area of Kono State, Alaji Umar Wudilawa. We thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. And also the PHCC, that's the Primary Healthcare Coordinator, same local government area of Kono State, is Alaji Ahialon. We really appreciate your coming. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And of course, Chairman Tofafi People's Forum and Talk About Community Based Organization is here with us. We thank you, Alhaji Saidu Abdul Tumfafi. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you guys in the studio. Once again, this is the number we'll be giving you to send your SMS to us, your views, your comments. We will really appreciate that. Send your SMS to 0036074502. And I repeat that number again. Send your SMS, please, to 0036074502. And we also encourage you to visit our website at www.mobilizingfordevelopment.com. And, of course, you get all the information and other areas that you seek information. On behalf of the entire production crew, you should know M4D is aiming to enhance local governance and contribute to improve service delivery in selected local government areas of Kano, Kaduna, and Jigawa states. And, of course, this project is funded by the UK Department for International Development and managed by the Palladium Group. I am Zachary Yusuf once again on behalf of the entire production crew. See you next week.